What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to go over the new mods you can get from Ada 1 in the tower. Ada 1 being the vendor for Black Armory. You'll notice that when you go to Ada she does have a number of things in her inventory from bounties, weapon frames, and things of that nature. But on the second page she sells mod components and Black Armory mods. You'll notice though that the cost for these is significant. The very first one you buy each day will cost you one schematic and ten mod components. The next one will cost you three schematics and 15 mod components. And now I'm on my third Black Armory mod and the price has gone up even more. So much like with Spider and Enhancement Cores, these do cost you more and more as you keep buying them. Now she does sell mod components and you can always buy more of these, but they are pretty steep in their price as well. I will link a video in the description on how you can get mod components a bit better. But beyond that, what are the mods you can get? So we'll buy one more here. It gave me a dragonfly spec. So there are a total of six mods you can get from A to 1. And I'll show you those six right here, right now. So the six mods you can get from A to 1, these are all brand new. You have Spring Grip, you have Quick Access Sling, you have Rampage Spec, Radar Booster, Surrounded Spec, and Dragonfly Spec. Now, some of these are much, much better than others, and I'll go through each one of these and give my opinions on it and whether or not it's better in Crucible or PvP, or PvE rather, sorry. So, first and foremost, the Sprint Grip. Now, this is one here where I think it's much, much better in PvP because you're going to temporarily increase the weapon's ready speed and aim down the sight speed after sprinting. So, you can imagine putting this on a shotgun. Imagine putting this on one of your god roll shotguns. So for instance, I have a Dust Rock Blues here that has slide shot and full auto. Now it doesn't have snapshot sights, but by adding the sprint grip mod to this, I'm going to effectively give this snapshot sights. I'm also going to be able to ready the weapon much, much faster as well. So you're going to be able to make your god roll shotgun even better or give you some more optionality when it comes to the perks that you're choosing on your shotgun. So this one here with full choke, slide shot, and full auto, it's going to be even more devastating if I were to add the spring grip to it. So I think spring grip is amazing for certain weapons in Crucible. Not so much, it's not going to be as useful in PvP or PvE. I think there's much better options than this. But for Crucible, this is a great mod and a wonderful addition in Black Armory. Let's keep going though. There's more mods here and some are even better than that. Next up we have Quick Access Sling and this one swap weapons much faster for a short duration after emptying the magazine. I think this one is not too amazing and there's a number of reasons for that. This is more designed for Crucible in my opinion, but the reason that it's limiting is you cannot put this on certain weapons like bows, grenade launchers, and rocket launchers. Now if you could throw that mod on one of these weapons like a bow, you'll see that I can't select it here then that would make the quick access much better. But for that reason, I think the quick access is one of the worst of the new mods from A to 1. So I wouldn't be too thrilled if you get that one from A to, especially considering the cost of getting them. Let's keep going. We've gone through two. Now we're up to Rampage spec. Now this, in my opinion, is the best of the new mods. Not because it necessarily is that much better than the surrounded spec, which I think is the second best one, but because you have a lot more weapons that have Rampage on them. So right now, for instance, I have my Chattering Bone. If I were to throw the Rampage spec on here, I have Outlaw Rampage on it, that's going to increase the amount of time that Rampage stays active. So for instance, right now, the Rampage will stay active for three and a half seconds. If I add this spec to it, it's going to increase that by a full second. So I'm going to be much, much more likely to keep Rampage going if I throw the Rampage spec on it. You can imagine a weapon like Breakneck, the Pinnacle Auto Rifle for Gambit. Throwing a Rampage spec onto that weapon is going to make it even more devastating. So this is a spec where it's going to be useful in either PvP or PvE. And for that reason, I think Rampage spec is going to be one where as soon as you get one of these, you're going to want to throw it onto your favorite weapon, whether it be Breakneck or any other weapon that has Rampage on it. So this one I think is the best one. Try to make sure you get at least a couple of these so you can put them on your favorite weapons. Up next we have the Radar Booster and this one is probably the worst mod to be honest from A to 1. 
Maybe it's slightly better than quick access sling because of the limitations with this one, but radar booster only increases the range at which radar detects enemies, and it's only very, very slight. So this one I think is not one you want to waste on some of your weapons. I don't think it's that great. I think there's a lot other better options than it, and I think it's probably one where you'll be a bit bummed out if you get it, considering you didn't get Rampage, Surrounded, or Dragonfly. So, moving on to the Surrounded spec. Now, Surrounded is a new perk with the Black Armor DLC, and the Surrounded spec increases the damage granted by Surrounded. So, to better understand this, let's take a look at a weapon that does have Surrounded. This weapon here is the Forge Hand Cannon, and this one came with Rampage and Surrounded. So, with this, I have a tough decision on what do I put on this weapon. Do I put the Surrounded spec on it, or do I put the Rampage spec? Well, Surrounded, whenever you have three enemies or more around you, then it's going to increase the base damage of the weapon. And it increases it by a significant percent, roughly 40% or so. If you add the Surrounded spec on it, it's going to increase the damage even more. So that's going to basically make Surrounded that much better. The other thing too is, you'll notice that with Surrounded spec, that not only do you have that increased damage, but the damage will linger for a short period of time when you're no longer surrounded by three enemies. So maybe you have a bunch of guys around you, you take a few of them out. Surrounded spec will make surrounded last while there's no longer three guys around you. But the problem is it's not very, very long. It's only uh, a second or two. So it doesn't last as long as the Rampage spec. And for that reason as well, I think Rampage spec is better than this one. But this is a great mod to add. For instance, I'll probably add this to the Hammerhead I just got. And in fact, I already did. I added a surrounded spec to it. This machine gun has surrounded, I threw the surrounded spec on it, so this thing will absolutely melt enemies at close quarters and it's going to make Hammerhead that much better. So surrounded spec is great, not quite as good as Rampage, but it's still a very good mod to have. So we've gone through 5 out of 6, last but not least is the Dragonfly spec. And this is pretty simple in what it does, it increases the radius and the damage of Dragonfly. Now you have some options here when it comes to what you want to put this on. I do have a couple weapons here that I have that could benefit from it. I have a scout rifle that's full auto dragonfly. I have the raid auto rifle that actually has dragonfly on it as well. So either of these weapons would benefit from the dragonfly spec. It's going to basically make the explosion stronger and a bit bigger. Now the explosion is not that much bigger and I think that the dragonfly spec you really want to use it on a weapon like the curated nation of beasts which unfortunately I have not gotten yet. but if you're fortunate enough to get that hand cannon from Last Wish Raid, that's going to be a weapon that you want to throw the Dragonfly spec on. You can imagine if you have a loadout with the threat level for your uh, kinetic weapon, you have the curated Nation of Beasts for your secondary, you throw a Dragonfly spec on, you're going to be clearing adds super quickly and you're going to have the damage output for bosses from the threat level. That's going to be pretty much one of the new metas here moving forward when it comes to your PvE loadout. So in my opinion, looking at the six mods, we've gone through each of those, we've gone over the effects that they have and their effectiveness both in Crucible and PvE. I think the best one to have from this is far and away, it's the Rampage spec. I think second best would be Surrounded, but that's a bit more limiting because there's not as many weapons that have it. I think after that, you want to go with the Sprint Grip. This is going to transform some of your weapons in Crucible, like the Dust Rock Blues I just showed you guys earlier. After that, I would say the Dragonfly. Then we have the Quick Access Sling, not that great. And the Radar Tuner, Radar Booster. I mean, how often do you even use the Radar Tuner mod? Probably not very often. So this one is a bit, a bit lackluster. I do wish there was more than just six mods you can get from Ada. But honestly, considering the price or the cost of getting these, it may have taken much, much longer than it did for me to get these mods here to begin with. So I wanted to make this video and go over the mods you can get. Again, you're buying these from, from A to 1. They do cost a lot of mod components. They do cost a lot of Black Armory schematics. If you're running low on mod components, like I said, I will link that video in the description. If you're running low on the schematics, you get those by dismantling Black Armory weapons. So I do have two pulse rifles here. I'm not really thrilled with either of them, to be honest. I'm still waiting for that god roll. But if you break these down, you do have a chance of getting schematics. Like right there, I just got three of them. So don't hesitate to break down some of your black armory weapons in order to get some of those schematics because 
you do want to at least get the Rampage one to better augment your god rolls that you may already have already. So let me know if this is helpful. I want to make a video covering the Black Armory mods. I'm glad they added them. I hope they add more and I hope they continue to add more. But most importantly, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch up soon.